selling her bathwater, faking her arrest? Belle Delphine looks like any other cosplayer sharing photos online, but she's done more than that to get famous. Keep watching to find out more. Long before she started posting real explicit content, Belle Delphine caused a stir when she announced she would open up an account on a well-known site that hosts adult videos. The announcement quickly made her insanely popular. Ultimately, it was all part of an elaborate troll, and the videos she posted weren't explicit at all. There's one called, PewDiePie Goes All The Way Inside Belle Delphine. If you clicked on the video hoping to see YouTube star PewDiePie interacting with Delphine, you'd probably be disappointed. It's a video of Delphine eating a photograph of PewDiePie. All of her videos were like that. While she didn't offer adult content at the time, she parlayed her hoax into driving traffic toward her Patreon. Fans who signed up got access to her private Snapchat, where she posted explicit photographs for her fans. Belle Delphine's internet popularity was already on the rise, with 4.5 plus million Instagram fans when she made international news. In July 2019, Delphine posted a message promising to sell something a bit unusual. She launched a new product called Gamer Girl Bathwater for all her, quote, thirsty gamer boys. Delphine's small jars of used bathwater sold for $30, and all 500 samples sold out in three days. The stunt earned Delphine recognition from international media outlets and sparked plenty of rumors online. The most pervasive gossip suggested several people caught herpes after drinking the bathwater, but these claims were all untrue. In reality, the claims of people catching a disease from Delphine only helped boost her popularity, and the stunt was an incredible success. Delphine's bathwater product spawned copycats in the form of companies claiming to sell jars of her urine. She received requests for some additional fluids to be placed in the bathwater. While the stunt may seem like it came out of nowhere, Delphine explained where she got the idea in an interview with Metro. So there is a joke in the community among gamers where they will comment on a post saying, let me drink your bathwater. And although it's a joke, I just kind of found the idea of turning it into a reality and actually letting people own my bathwater funny. Hello, internet. Every so often, Belle Delphine upsets the folks who control social media sites and gets her account suspended or removed. In July 2019, Delphine's Instagram account was suspended for reports of explicit content, which resulted in her departure from the internet for a few months. When she returned to her millions of fans in October, she did so with a mugshot. Belle Delphine posted a picture of her so-called mugshot, saying she was arrested. Her tweet came with a single comment, I got arrested, lol. What followed was an intensely bizarre story about how she was arrested. According to Delphine, she was picked up by the London Metropolitan Police Department after vandalizing a friend's car, which she did because said friend stole her hamster. The vandalized car's pictures were posted soon after. Words spray-painted on the vehicle read, Give me my hamster back. Delphine never revealed if her story was true or not, but media outlets took the time to research her claim. Ultimately, it was ruled another stunt due to Delphine's mugshot not appearing in the Metropolitan Police's mugshot database. The watermark on the bottom was also an indication, as the Met doesn't add that to its mugshots. In the end, Delphine proved she could troll her fans with yet another outrageous claim. After Delphine posted her arrest picture, she followed that with another video, and then disappeared from the internet entirely. She didn't return for several months, and rumors persisted that she received death threats for her content. Delphine has taken several breaks from online activity over the years, and when she ended this one, she made waves. Delphine dropped a music video in June 2020, teasing she would make a big bag with an OnlyFans account. At the same time, she took the opportunity to post her new Instagram and TikTok accounts. Of course, the OnlyFans account got the most attention, and when she began posting on the platform, she made a ton of cash. Within her first few months on OnlyFans, Delphine had already made $1.2 million in a single month, and according to her, she's managed to keep that momentum going, month after month. When she opened the account, she ported over all of the explicit pictures and videos she previously hosted on her private Snapchat. When her OnlyFans account went live, her photos and videos were semi-nude. Still, it wouldn't be long before she crossed over into more adult content. 
As of September 2021, Delphine's OnlyFans account has been liked more than 618,000 times, and if she genuinely is bringing in around $1 million a month, that means she has about 28,570 subscribers paying for her content. There are hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of people doing the same kind of work Belle Delphine does online. When she first started, her content garnered some attention, but it wasn't until she started making headlines for weird activities that her popularity increased. Her gamer girl bathwater stunt pulled in a ton of cash alongside some serious publicity, but that pales in comparison to some of the other things she's done to earn views and clicks. In one photo shoot, Delphine posted pictures of herself in what Insider described as an X-rated display of a fantasy kidnapping scenario. In the now-deleted Twitter post, she described the shoot as her perfect first date. In response to suggestions she should have placed a trigger warning on the posting, she explained to Metro, "...there's nothing wrong with enjoying power play and BDSM where both people are consensual." She further wrote that the claims made against her were akin to those that have long plagued the video game industry as a cause of violence. Violence. Ultimately, Delphine removed the photos, which may have been due to calls to have her cancelled on Twitter. When Belle Delphine made her return to the online community, she began posting videos on YouTube. Her videos were less about cosplaying and more explicit, however. During this time, most of her content consisted of music videos she made, and it wasn't long before YouTube pulled the plug. Delphine had her account suspended after multiple complaints brought her content to the site's attention. This was nothing new for Delphine, and over the years, she's managed to have her account suspended or closed. At one point, she received a permanent ban from Instagram, which may not have stuck. She was also booted off TikTok, but has since returned to the platform. Delphine so far has always found her way back online, but the bans do come at a cost. When her Instagram account was first banned, she had over 4.5 million followers and lost them all. She's had multiple Instagram accounts closed at different times, and her original Facebook account is nowhere to be found, though it's likely she closed that in an effort to purge her early material. Delphine now has several active social media accounts. She came back to Facebook but left again, has a YouTube page, a Twitter, and numerous Instagram accounts, though it's not clear if she's operating them. She also has a Patreon and OnlyFans, both of which bring in an estimated $1 million to $1.135 million every month. So it's been really fun playing with you over the last couple of years. In March 2018, Belle Delphine started a Patreon account where she posted her racier photos to paying customers. Her Patreon included several membership levels, and at one time, a member could pay $2,500 to have a one-on-one -on -one Skype session with Delphine. These days, her Patreon has fallen behind her much more successful OnlyFans. Still, before she made that transition, it was incredibly popular. At one time, her Patreon boasted some 4,400 users, and this was after just a few months on the platform. She ran into some controversy when she took one of her many short absences from the internet. In August 2019, she essentially disappeared from her social media accounts, which wouldn't have been a problem for most sites but it created a problem with Patreon. Her subscribers signed up for access to existing and future content, so rumors spread that she was scamming them. When Delphine went dark for a few months, she quickly lost more than half of her subscribers and was left with around 2,000. Delphine eventually returned with her fake arrest stunt, and her Patreon numbers never recovered. As of September 2021, her Patreon still boasts just shy of 350 patrons. Belle Delphine has courted controversy throughout her entire adult career, making content online which has brought her a lot of attention. While she doesn't post many videos on her own YouTube, she does go on other members' podcasts and is interviewed every so often by big names in the industry. In her appearance on Philip DeFranco's A Conversation With, Delphine went into detail about how she got to where she was in the industry, how much money she was making, and her plans for the future. In it, she calls herself a quote, girl who was on a destruction course on the internet. Who just happens to have pink hair. <laughs> <laughs> Through their conversation, Belle Delphine explains that she wants to have a simple and comfortable life in a nice country house. That may seem contrary to her online activities, but Delphine admits that she's always been, quote, very switch and flip, explaining that her interests tend to shift all the time. Given her history on the internet, it seems that while she's likely to continue posting controversial things online, there's no telling what that might entail. 
check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.